Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Ross of the Guy with the Eye here, and we're talking about the new Hasselblad X1D. It's $9,000. <laughs> so I decided to make this for the official release just because it it, it doesn't matter. Uh, this camera just speaks to the 1% of the percent of who knows why they're going to buy this camera, and it's going to be in a studio setting. But it's interesting because it's the world's first medium format mirrorless camera. So this is something different. This is something unique. But once again, it's for a very, very specific genre niche of you know, creatives out there, and you know, it's the same thing as the Leica brand, and you know, Hasselblad, you might know a lot for their film as well, and, you know, and, and it being medium format, but now that they've really become more digital, they've got like an expensive $2,000 point and shoot style one that didn't sell that well, this is going to be used by someone who needs this, and it's not going to be much more, and you really don't need to, you know, hear the specs out about it, and uh, you know, just, just looking at what the technology is becoming, especially with mirrorless cameras, is really interesting thing it being a big sensor this is going to be 50 megapixels and with something like Hasselblad in medium format that's obviously a big deal to get that uh, optimum and ultimate detail so this is what it looks like right here you get a it's more square you uh you kind of get you know I guess the generic Hasselblad look lenses and and how it looks but if you look right here you know you get a little bit of a grip you get a uh, probably an aperture ring here a shutter a shutter uh, dial up top and that's kind of about it as you see right here they only provided low res images for something like these so if I have something more before uh, this gets posted I'll switch them out but other than that you just get a giant LCD uh, an LCD screen on the back with a viewfinder which that was big in question will this have an electronic viewfinder and it looks like it actually might so this hopefully will be touchscreen that would be very interesting but as you see very sleek very minimalistic for nine grand though I wish I had a couple more buttons but obviously if you have nine grand you don't care about that type of stuff and you probably have a shutter dial back here so it's going to be at nine thousand dollars and this is a big deal because you've got a a sony a9 on the way that's supposed to be six thousand dollars and under and that's supposed to be like 70 megapixels so but once again it's just mirrorless it's not medium format so it's going to be interesting to see how this influences the market or pushes Sony to do something maybe to really do something like that we don't fully know but it's going to be nine grand it's obviously not going to be a fast camera because it's more medium format it's a large sensor 50 megapixels so just medium format like phase one and everything so here you go what do you think about something like this and you can kind of see right here that this looks to be another sensor for the electronic viewfinder which would be interesting that this is but a lot of the mirrorless cameras out there have EVFs because of what they can provide and the accuracy and of the the light and everything that you could see in live time so i think it's uh i think it's essential for something like this but once again this is nine this is gonna be nine thousand dollars there's gonna be more specs and everything that you probably won't need to hear and video on this probably won't be the best so you're not looking at it as that you're looking at this if you're a full-time studio photographer uh or just somewhere where you need portraits and you just concentrate on detail maybe you know stock photography like product photography something like that but you're not using this to do i mean you can but you're not using this to do like landscapes and weddings because that would really really suck so this is it right here i just wanted to give a quick word about it give you the quick shout out in case you haven't heard the Hasselblad x1d it's gonna be 9k 50 megapixels and it looks like it's gonna have some kind of inputs and everything like that and who knows this might require some type of external thing to um you know to go into now the only thing you really have to compare this to with what Hasselblad has out there for something um, you know medium format and everything out there is like their H their HD series you know their 60 H5D uh, 50C all that kind of stuff and as you kind of see this just depends on the megapixels but like looking at these the um, the 60 100C is a hundred megapixels it's apparently supposed to have amazing dynamic range 4k video once again you're not buying these to do uh, 4k video so whatever that's fine Fine. but if you'll see right here they're already using dual cfas and sd cards so i'm thinking cfas is probably going to be what this is going to be for and obviously when it's official you'll find that out once again i you know i'm not really waiting for that but it has a touchscreen lcd monitor as well so i'm i'm going to assume that all of this stuff is really going to just kind of compilate into something that's a little bit more affordable <laughs> uh, into something like this but the interesting part is the 100c and the 50c of their digital camera is is thirty thousand dollars that is not acceptable but this is supposed to be nine thousand dollars do you find this being practicable for any use 
I know 99.999, 100% of us will never buy this camera, but if you are a Hasselblad owner, would you want something like this? Does this intrigue you even at like a, you know, a five, six thousand dollar mark? Like you're buying a, a Nikon, you know, D5 or a Canon 1DX Mark II, all that kind of stuff. Is this intriguing for you and do you think it's going to be something more of the future when it gets a little bit more consumer friendly by a couple thousand dollars? Let me know what you think down below. The Hasselblad X1D, the world's first medium format mirrorless 